National City is right now unveiling its first homeless shelter. There's a ribbon cutting going on to mark the occasion. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell joins us live from that event. Danny, this is a big step in National City towards getting people off the streets. Good morning, Jared. Yes, it is. And the ribbon cutting ceremony just concluded. I'm here off of 24th Street and Euclid Avenue, and this is where the very first homeless shelter in National City will be. And they're going to call it the South County Lighthouse Center. It is um, oh, the grand opening um, over here is going to unveil that there are um, 162 beds, but right now National City is seeing that there are around 180 people who are unhoused right now. We are now going into where the ribbon cutting ceremony just concluded and where we also heard from many community leaders. The San Diego Rescue Mission is determined to help every single one of the unhoused individuals. They're saying that this center is going to um, open up 162 beds to shelter men, women, and children. The San Diego Rescue Mission is ready to start bringing people in, but they say oftentimes it takes months of convincing an unhoused person to come so they have an effective outreach strategy. We have a shower trailer uh, that is designated for National City. We bring the shower to where uh, homeless individuals are. Changing people's minds to come to a center like this is complicated. It starts with taking a shower, changing clothes, providing some food. So that is San Diego Rescue Mission's Vice President of Operations, and he said that this will be a navigation center for men, women, and children. They'll stay here for about a month, and they will be paired with services that will help them transition into stable housing. San Diego Rescue Mission tells me that oftentimes the unhoused community turns an invitation, turns down an invitation to the shelter because they know shelter is typically um, known to be run down. But that's why the mission believes that in order to bring the unhoused into their shelter successfully, it needs to start with the facility. If the facility is something like this, that smells good, that have the best furniture, that have the best bathrooms, in their mind, they're saying, oh, this is nice, they will take care of us. And this shelter will officially open tomorrow. Live in National City, I'm Danny Muskell, ABC 10 News. Yeah, worth noting. Thank you, Danny. There are, uh, according to the point in time count, 174 people experiencing homelessness in National City, 162 beds in that shelter. That'll go a long way. Before you go, Danny, there's a Padres connection also to this shelter. Yes, Jared, we actually heard from Tom Seidler, and he says that after Peter Seidler's passing, they started the Peter Seidler Legacy Project. This is the very first project in his portfolio, and they made a $350,000 contribution to this shelter. That $350,000 built this community center that I am standing in front of that's a part of the overall shelter, and they're saying that it's also the largest donation that the Padres Foundation has ever made in the Padres history. One more thing, when you walk inside, you'll notice that there is a Manny Machado mural right here on the left-hand side. Manny Machado sent in a video and said that he also personally contributed to that overall donation that the Padres made. Fighting homelessness was one of the things Peter loved to do under the radar. Good to see that that work is still going on after his death. Thank you very much. Danny Miskell live in National City.